Ayan. Uh, good evening po. Uh, I am Feliz Abrera from BSE 2-1. Uh, thinking of EEDUC 228, the teacher in the curriculum. Um, good evening po, Sir Charles. Welcome to our interview proper po. Good evening then, Ma'am Feliz. <laughs> Thank you po. <laughs> Um, ayun po. Good day, Sir Charles. So, first of all po, um, I'll just ask you po first for a brief introduction po. May I kindly ask for you to please introduce yourself briefly po and where do you currently teach po or in what institution po? Okay po. So, good evening, Feliz. Ma'am Feliz, I am Sir Charles Andetito Lentino and I am currently teaching in the Senior High School Department of our university, De La Salle University, Das Marinas. Ayun po. <laughs> Thank you po, sir. Um, may I ask po, anong subject po yung handle niyo po sa Senior High School and what uh, oh. specific strand po din po? Okay po. So before no, during my first uh, term of teaching, I taught English for academic and professional purposes. So I taught uh STEM what else? As ABM, ICT, TVL. I I think almost all strands ay naturuan ko. Ay, grabe. And then yes. <laughs> and uh subject I taught is ano um EAPP. And ngayon namang term Uh, this term 3 kasi term 2 ako nag-start ngayon term 3 naman I taught English uh, reading and writing skills and uh, this term naman I taught uh, STEM and ICT tapos may turo ulit ako sa term 4 oral communication and context Ay. tapos ano naman ABM and ICT yes <laughs> grabe sir Charles <laughs> um and I believe po first year po ng inyong teaching tama po yes, first year niyo and, po sa teaching yes yes it's my first uh, year of teaching and I'm really excited every day wow <laughs> <laughs> to teach yes because uh, ganun talaga if you love what you do talagang ano there is excitement uh, of every time you teach <laughs> thank you po sir Charles medyo na inspire po ako dun na <laughs> wala po yung pagod nila ayun po sobrang dami nyo na po agad na handle thank you so much po for that yes. brief introduction now um I'll continue po sa question proper so for the first question Would you consider yourself to be an active participant in curriculum development in your school or in your department, senior high school department? Yes, I can consider myself as an active participant. So, uh, this is proven in my roles, no? In the curriculum process. Do I need to enumerate it already? Not yet. Or I'll just um, answer this question. Okay lang naman po hindi. Meron pa po akong follow-up question. Okay, okay. Sige, <laughs> sige. You. So, yes, that is my answer in this question. Okay po. So, so, yun po. If so, how would you describe your role as a teacher in terms of your participation in curriculum development within the senior high school department of the university? I'm sorry. Yan po. Okay, so ito na pala. <laughs> okay, so what are my roles, no? Because teachers, we are also considered as curricularists, no? Yes, And uh, as a curricularist, uh, we have roles to do uh, with regards to the curriculum. First is, uh, as a teacher, I need to know the curriculum. So I am a knower, no? So uh, when I was given the chance to teach, during first term of teaching. So, I really studied the curriculum, specifically of the subjects or the subject that I was assigned or the subject that I was assigned, no, which is EAPP, no, first, ano ko, first term of teaching. So, I studied it and I really um, mastered it at the same time. And next one, after that, no, I also planned the curriculum. So, I am a planner. So when uh before the term started last time we had this meeting with the other EAPP teachers and then we had this brainstorming during that brainstorming we discussed the course description course policies learning competencies 
the dates, no? Weekly, weekly dates. And then the topics that we need to discuss, activities, including the integrative output, which is also their final output, assessment strategies, technology enablers, and total number of hours. And we are also required to give references, no? Online and on-site. Required po yun. Uh, okay. So, what is the purpose of references in um, constructing the syllabus? So, it's very important that your syllabus has a basis, no? Ito kasi magiging basis natin of the topics that you, uh, that, um, that we're going to teach to the students. So, you know, in the, during our meeting, we really had this brainstorming. Kung ano yung mga ituturo, the activities, the assessments, the technologies that we're going to use. And we really need to, ano then to uh, schedule it accordingly, depending on the school calendar. Okay, so after planning the curriculum, we also write the curriculum. So, I am also a writer, okay? So after the brainstorming, uh, we constructed the syllabus or we finalized it already. So since we are already in the 21st century, we are utilizing technologies. So what we did is uh, we uh, what they call it? we typed the important information that we have um uh, you know, that we have talked about during the brainstorming. So we use the Google Documents wherein you can uh, collaborate, right? Uh, through online uh, plat through the online platform. So we constructed the syllabus. And then after that, uh, we also initiated or implemented the curriculum. So I am an implementer. So after finalizing the syllabus, which is the curriculum no, of the subject, I already implemented it in our class. So I I taught the topics that should be taught. And then what else? Uh, the activities. I gave the activities to the students. So before, I am the one who who was answering the assessments in school book, but now I'm the one who give it who gives the assessment. And it's really, you know. I told myself, wow, parang kaila lang. I was the one who is answering. Now, ako na yung nagbibigay ng assessment. So, yeah, it's really... Uh, anong tag dito? It's really a great experience to give assessments. Wow! <laughs> then, I'm also the one who grades the assessments. And the next one is... um, Yes, I also uh use the technologies which I... uh Which we indicated in the syllabus so yun uh, no so in the implementation of the curriculum we are uh, we are just following what we have written or what we have included in the syllabus and then after implementing we also evaluate the curriculum so i am also an evaluator so how do we evaluate the curriculum so we are basing it on the assessments of the students if the students learned no uh for during the formative assessment, no, whenever there are recitations, there are activities, no. So that is our formative assessment, kasi during class, di ba? So we have the uh, activities, we have recitation. So if we see that the students are learning, the students are actively participating, then we can say that uh, that strategy is effective. But then if we see that the students are not really responding or uh, the uh, assessment results are not that good, then we change it on the next meeting. Okay, so that is uh, that is what we do. That is how we evaluate the curriculum. It is uh, results-based talaga. Okay, and then after that, no, we innovate the curriculum. So I am also an innovator. So based on the evaluation, no, we change or we improve our strategies, our assessments based on uh, our evaluation of our students. So, yun po, no? So, uh, as a teacher, it's very important that we improve every day talaga. We improve um, every meeting. So, yun po. So, those are my roles as a uh, curricularist in the uh, school. So, yun po. Thank you. I hope you learned something from that. <laughs> Probably, Sir Charles. Sobrang thank you po. Um... <laughs> I, we were actually asked by Ma'am Oli kung ano yung parang main roles I remember sa isang assessment. 
na sa tingin kong magagamit ko or talagang ma-fulfill ko. And ilan lang yung binigay ko, pero I didn't expect you, po that I will get an answer from you na lahat, that it's really a process. So, thank you so much, po. I'm not gonna be asking the second question po kasi if not, so since you already mentioned all the roles that you were able to do as a curriculumist. So, I'll proceed to, actually, the last question na po. So, um, would you consider your experience, Sir Charles, or your first-hand knowledge in curriculum development helpful in your profession? Can you give, could you give us a few examples? Okay, hello. Yan, oh, di ba? pala. Okay, okay, sige. <laughs> okay, no? So, my experience, I think um these are indeed a uh, first-hand... Okay, would you consider yourself or your first-hand knowledge and curriculum development helpful in your profession? Yes, it is helpful, no? The experiences that I had uh, starting October, October. Okay. So, it's really helpful in my uh, profession because... Uh, as what uh, as what people are saying no as what the quote is saying experience indeed is the best teacher so before no when i was in college no more on theoretical diba when we are inside a classroom uh, we learn the theories the strategies but then if you're already in the field no dun ka talaga mas matututo because you are now uh, in the real world of professional teachers wa <laughs> Okay, iba talaga pag nasa field ka na, no? Because uh, you will see how does uh, education really works. And as a curricularist, no? So, based on my experience as a curricularist, talagang uh, it helped me a lot. Uh, and it gave me a lot of lessons. So, eto pala yung mga learnings na natutunan ko. So, I have four learnings. So, di ba? I'm so prepared. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... First is uh this is these learnings are based on my experiences no and these are very helpful and I hope uh this will also help you these learnings okay first is uh it's very important that I that as a teacher uh it's very important that I master the curriculum uh before you teach something it's very important that you know it first no because you cannot give what you don't have. So before I teach uh, every before every meeting I really make sure that I master that lesson that I'm going to teach no based on the curriculum or based on the syllabus that we have created. So through that no I can uh, effectively implement it inside the classroom. That is the first one of no? first learning that I had no or that I have master the curriculum. Next one I need to be creative in choosing the activities, assessment strategies, and technologies. Because as uh, teachers, no, as teachers, it's very important that we are creative. Because students nowadays, no, karamihan of the students nowadays, uh, they have short attention span. No, madali silang, uh, what do you call this? Yung attention madaling mawala if uh, if if they think that uh this particular activity is somehow not that interactive so it's very important that we are creative in choosing the activities assessments and technologies so that the students will be uh will actively participate in our classes next one is i need to be careful in planning the syllabus because i need to match it with DepEd's curriculum so yeah it's very important that uh that everything that we teach in school, everything that we put in the syllabus is matched with DepEd's uh, curriculum. And then lastly is, this is the most important learning that I had, no? Love what you do. Okay. So, as a teacher, no? Uh, to share with you, it was, it has been my, ano talaga, it has been my um, dream to become a teacher. And I really love what I'm doing. I see the students every day that they are learning. And then whenever I walk through the hallways, no, they will uh, greet me. Hello, Sir Charles. Good morning, Sir Charles. No, I'm really happy. I'm so full of love every day. So, yeah. Talagang ano, despite the challenges that I'm facing, no? So, 
di ba, time management, I need to review for my board exam, I also need to uh, teach, no, do my responsibilities in school, at home, but then despite of the, despite those challenges, whenever I see my students, I gain the strength to continue, no, I gain the strength to do my duties as curricularist in the school. So, yun, yun ng mga learnings na natutunan 